Maybe yeah, so to the original question about other ways besides physical touch, like we've been talking, I would not give up on physical touch. There just may be new ways into it, but you don't have to ram anything here. So it may be safe enough to start by holding hands and watching sexually explicit film or, you know, who knows what. Uh, it doesn't have to go right to lots of touch, but holding hands can be a start. And even vicariously watching something sexual might be a way in. I don't, I don't know that you just have to, it's a lot of trial and error. So uh, riffing again on this, I want to speak to there's a, a larger population than one might think of people who don't touch, who haven't touched throughout their relationship or part of their relationship. They did and then it's 40 years later and they don't. And so the idea of looking at, you know, the five senses touches one of those, but could you share a moment if you share music or art or any kind of a stimulus to one of the other senses that is uh, not about medicalizing, not about anything functional, but just about enjoying a pleasuring moment, learning about the idea of pleasure and sensuality again. And where in your body can you track that? You don't have to touch, but you can be in connection with each other because your partners, there's an automatic attachment going on. You co-regulate each other from a physical level to an emotional level. So taking a step back and finding out in a curiosity versus a judgment, um, especially if you've never touched before or don't emphasize that in your relationship or there's a religious belief that keeps you from doing that. Um, the five senses are great. And if you only have one or two senses working, use those if it's not one of those is touch because the other are heightened to the ones that aren't hard of hearing. You might see your visual is much more acute or your taste. Um, so enjoying a good meal together can be an incredibly erotic experience. And we're talking about putting eros back into one's life and that defines itself, not just in a sexual style, but in terms of a position or something, but it's really about the joie de vivre, the joy of life, that deeper level of connection and intimacy that you don't usually give away to many people, except perhaps your partner, or you can refine a way in after going through illness and all kinds of other stuff um, to reconnect with. And that's your own private world of safety and connection, no judgment, and it's far better than just what we usually think about as sex. You know, it's sort of like you're in a playing field that's massive in terms mm -hmm. of this. And it's lovely to explore it as long as you two are in a mutual, safe place to do that. Mm -hmm. Safe emotionally, yeah. And, and those new signals may very well be subtle. So yeah. just it's part of this is a, is a reattunement, a recalibration. It may not be these explosive sort of porno orgasmy things that that get confused with intimacy. It could be a really vague, subtle signal. So part of this is paying attention on a different level to each other and yourselves.